would be one way a person's life would change if there was no TV? Well, what happened, um, I started out with uh, faith-based faith um, activities. We come in from uh, the Impact Church in Lake Wales and we had services and from that I was asked if there was any other, um, any skill that I could bring to the table to help with education at this facility. And so I told them that I had a master's in education and a bachelorate in, um, ele in elementary education. So they um, said, would you be interested in helping with the GED? And I said, well, yes. So then some time passed and the program got rolling and I was invited back. I believe that um, it's going to impact this neighborhood. It is, I call this community a neighborhood. I see it very small in terms of our nation. It's going to have a great impact because these young men are going to go out here and they're going to try to make something of themselves. They see opportunity. Education brings on opportunity. And so the more they study and the more they learn, the more opportunities will be presented to them. It's going to start their brains working in different ways. And um, because it's faith-based, because it generates from a place, you got volunteers that are coming here from faith-based organizations, and so they're, they're getting rooted in, in a whole new way of life. My lack of education has a lot to do with my reason going to jail. Uh, has a lot to do with my structure and the way, where I come from and my life in society. The program that we are involved in, you know, faith-based program and the GED you know, and all that are, are really helpful for each other, indivi you know, individually and in a group because we support each other in times in despair. You know, I mean, we are, um, it's really a different place in the jail is what I, I've experienced in my past. There, there was really no, um, no programs offered to us before. Trying to get into GED was very difficult. Um, there was no CPR training things like that. It was basically just jazz and faith base. And the faith base wasn't as, as in depth as it is now. Uh, from what I've seen this time in jail, the programs I've been involved in, that I do appreciate what I am offered in jail. You know, I mean, I had thought differently prior to that. And uh, that, that was basically just where I've, my perspective of where I was in jail. But um, this time around with the programs that have been offered to me, I feel that my opportunities have changed. I, 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 do, I don't have a high school diploma and I want to get it and knowledge is power and I need to learn and I got kids and I'll be able to teach and help them, grandkids. I think this is a good opportunity because, you know, uh, it's a lot of people don't have an education and it's very important now you have to have a GED or some kind of diploma to get a good job now. And I'm going to need a good job to support my family. The GED, when, when, when you get that, it's not going to keep you out of, out of jail, but it will help you stay out because, you know, you can get you a job and have things to do instead of just out of time to do things to, to put you in jail. And you know, if you're by yourself with the baby, you can pick the baby up and still do your uh, chest compressions and you can call 911 until somebody arrives. Yes, I do believe that Sheriff Judd has made this possible and through the Sheriff's Office. Um, this is a great opportunity for the inmates to learn CPR and so that way when they leave this place they will have something that they can possibly fall back on and they can help others, you know, um, if there is an emergency situation where they have to use CPR. So I think that this is a good um, thing that Grady Judd and the Sheriff Offices is doing at this moment. I've always got, always was close with God and uh, just him giving me the opportunity to be in a program like this helps me to help out others in the outside of the community. Uh, and CPR, I mean, what better way to, to better yourself and to learn CPR and if someone's in need of it, to help them out on the outside too. It's going to teach me who to hang around with and who not to. I mean, to stick in the churches, stick in the community, uh, just help out the community 100%. I mean, don't be hanging around the same crowds. This, this place ain't a place you want to be into. So, I mean, this is a great opportunity for me to do that. It teaches me a lot. I want people to know that Sheriff's Office is doing the best they can to help inmates out, to, to keep from coming to this place, to let them know that there is a better, a way, a better way of life out there than besides a life of crime. This, this program is teaching us job skills. This program is also teaching us um, about different programs that's out there for people who have uh, felon, convicted felons and or um, different criminal backgrounds. This is simple. 
them finding out about information about you and you telling them how you would benefit the company. The, the goal for the program basically is for the people attending the workshops to realize that they can get a job and to realize they can get jobs that they want to do. And the other thing is to teach them to match their skill sets with jobs that are out there. Good companies are still looking for good people and they want people with these skill sets. One of the biggest holes right we have right now in the workforce are people with trades. Um, people are coming out of school and college where a welder can start out at 40,000, 50,000 a year. Um, so we're really uh, trying to make them realize the skills and the trades that they have knowledge of and at the same time directing them, showing them how to network and showing them how to target companies and then showing them how to interview as an ex-offender, how to write a resume as an ex-offender, okay, how to do an application as an ex-offender compared to what they've been doing. I would hope that the public would know that um, the Sheriff's Office is doing its best to not just um, house these guys, but to, to teach them a better way, to, to nurture them along. I mean, with faith-based, with the um, GED program, with the CPR training, and there'll be other programs that we need more volunteers. We need people who are capable with skills to come on board that are willing to share their skills with these guys that, that are eager to learn. They are eager to learn, so I hope that they will come on board and just want to be a part of, of helping us to help them. And to God be the glory.